me, I've got an old 18 by 24 inch canvas up here. It's all covered with a nice thin even coat of liquid white. It's wet, it's wet, it's ready to go. Maybe some water and who knows. Let's just, let's just do something and have a good Who knows? <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia and I'm going to be painting today. And I sure hope that you join me. I'm going to be following a tutorial by the legend himself, Bob Ross. I'm not expecting a lot in this video, but I have tried to paint a Bob Ross painting before. And it wasn't that bad, but I kind of gave up in the middle of it. So we're going to see if we can get all the way through this one. Um, I have a terrible, terrible setup here. Uh, my painting supplies are actually behind my canvas, and um, it's just kind of propped on this chair. Not really the best, but we're working with what we have. So today we're going to be following the Peaceful Reflections Bob Ross painting tutorial. Looks like it's going to rain, hasn't yet. So I thought this peaceful mountain type painting would be perfect. We're gonna see what we can do here. I'm not really sure how this is gonna turn out, but I guess we're just gonna get right into it. I have done a lot of art in my life, so I'm not completely in the dark with this. I don't know, man. We're just gonna go ahead and get started. Sorry for the lighting. It's kind of weird outside. It keeps getting light and dark, so. Uh, but anyway, we have my supplies behind here and my cup of water and my paper towels to wipe my brushes on. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. I don't have any of his colors, so if I'm actually thinking this might turn out like it, probably won't because I buy cheap paint. And also, I'm sorry if there's weird noises in the back. My dog is going to ham on that bone. Could you? That's enough. We're just gonna try. I don't know. I never claimed to be an artist, so if this video turns out terribly, which it probably will. I have done a lot of art in my life. Um, don't at me. Oh, here's one I did. It's a jellyfish balling it up. We're just trying to find the paint colors at this point. This video is gonna be two years long. Titanium white. I actually have one of his colors, titanium white. That's what we need. What else do we need? Sallow blue and green. I don't know what that is, but we got green and blue. Is this right? Is this right? Is this right? Okay, so white, blue, green. What else, Bobby? Come on. Prussian blue. I'm guessing that might be a lighter blue. Got it. We're just gonna get all the colors, okay? Black, red, tan, yellow, brown. That should be good, right? Orange, heck yeah. We got orange. Huh. Huh. And probably some brushes I'll be using. These are my most popular ones that I use. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so bad. Oh, I need something to put my paints on. And we're out of paper plates. Oh my gosh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Found this piece of cardboard I'm gonna put my paints on, so. Okay, let's see what Bobby does. I'm gonna go right into a small, this little amount of the Indian yellow. Oh, we've seen a big old brush. Just a little color. Doesn't take much. I'll put a little yellowish glow in the sky. Yellow? The Indian yellow is quite transparent. There. I guess we're going for it. I'm in a bright, happy mood today. It's a good day to be alive. So let's do a painting that reflects that. Sure, Bobby. Dude, every day's a good day to be alive. There we are. Maybe a little bit of it down here. If we're going to have water, we'll just put a little in there. What the heck? Whoa, okay, he's going to clean the... Okay. We got some yellow up here. He puts it like across. I'm gonna angle this a little bit. Sorry for the inconvenience, but I do need to see what I'm painting. Okay, so he just kind of goes all the way across. Okay, he just kind of goes all the way across here. Blah blah blah. A little bit into this corner. Okay, we're vibing with that. And then he goes down here and it's like, what the heck? Let's do some down here. Okay. Together. Some red. There we are. Wow. 
What? This is a big commitment right here. Just put a little warm spot up here in the sky. It's okay, a little warm we'll spot. Little crimson, and we'll throw a little of that down here too. Put that. Down here too? Really? That's good How enough. How far does he go down? Okay. Just have this? a good time. That's really what painting is all about. Is just enjoy yourself. Okay. Okay, little phthalo blue. And I still have the same old dirty brush. Blue? Blue? With a dirty, dirty brush? Blue with a dirty brush. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on a second. 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 So it'll mix with the liquid white and automatically... <laughs> I'm panicking! Okay, what's he doing? Okay, and here. Just a touch, and that thing will green. See, the blue is so much stronger than that crimson. He's going in this corner here. He's working it in this corner here. Outside, yeah. He's going down here as well. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, buddy, but can I see what it looks like? Okay, great. Okay, so he's got a fine line between what is the sky and what is the ocean right now. I feel like that's a pretty good, good line there. This is so chaotic. This is so chaotic. If anyone knows me in real life, I'm, I'm not chaotic. I'm like... Let's follow the rules and let's be, let's make it look really good. But right now, I'm just going not off that. Okay, he's washing the brush now, so let's wash the brush too. My goal by the end of this video is, is to still be able to get our security deposit back. Because I might be spilling this paint all over. Okay, brush is washed. That was like, that was all a blur. I don't even remember doing any of that. Now then, I want to blend the sky out. Be sure your brush is good, clean, and dry. Start in the light area. Is that clean? No, in the light area. Also, I'm putting my hair in this ye old ponytail. Colonial ponytail. Hello, or you'll have a bright, clean sky. Unless that's what you want. See, I put a little bit in this top corner. Mm -hmm. He didn't do that. I did that. Okay, now Man, it's just the blue is getting me it's every time. This brush. isn't looking good. What did I do wrong? Oh my gosh, it completely ruined that. This blue is stupid. I can't keep up. I can't keep up. So we're gonna try to go in with a little bit more of that yellow and kind of brighten things up at the bottom. We're not sure what happened there. Let me just, let me just see if I can try and fix this. Hold on. Y'all, this is the only conclusion I could come to. That's not good. It's not good, but She's a work in progress, okay? We still got like freaking 20 minutes left of this video. Uh, so we're gonna keep on going, but that is all I could do. Shake it off. Cover all the up here. That. A mountain? Did he just say a mountain? Black, brown, blue, red. Got a dark color. Oh, so we're doing a mountain now. Well, I don't have that little that little knife thing, so we're just gonna use a regular brush to do that. To do the good old little mountain boys. We're just gonna use the same brush we have been using because that's been doing pretty good for us. Okay, we're gonna see how this turns out. Where do we want our mountain? He puts his right there. Yeah, we'll probably just do the same thing because right there. Why not? Sure does now. Firmly push that right into the fabric. Just really push. Help. Like so. Use a lot of pressure. Maybe it goes on off over here somewhere. Whatever. Okay, I guess. Sure. We'll go with that. good but not the worst hooray it's just listen I know I know this is just too bold so I need to fix that right now before it bothers me and it already did bother me <laughs> it's fine okay that's a little less harsh 
it's not less harsh. Am I making it worse? Comment down below if I'm making it worse. Oh, that was a that was an interesting choice of me to put that orange there. I just really can't get it to blend like how I want it to. tutorial before and it was not this difficult. Got a knife. Got a knife. Okay. Ah, this is not going good for me. I like don't have any of the. It's just not for me. I don't want to do it. Got like a little metal fork to do this. Metal fork. Okay, we're just gonna see what happens. Okay. Don't even ask me my technique. I have no technique. And then he adds blue, blue into the white to make the other side. Okay, there's our mountains. It looks pretty good in the viewfinder because A, it's mirrored and B, it's really far away, so. It looks good from there. Shout out to my butter knife because that came in clutch. Just barely touching it. Caress the canvas. Just barely yeah. touch it. Okay, trees now. And he's using a fan brush. I do have a fan brush. This is a fan brush. See how this works out for us. Probably not very well, but we'll see. We'll see. Some things work out. Sometimes. Not sure how far it went down. Which one's taller? I, all I did was add some highlights to this, but <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Listen, I am not an artist, but this was pretty difficult. I kind of gave up like over here and here. I'll say it. I gave up a little bit, but it's, it was actually really hard and I really hate it. And I'll probably end up painting this all black and or white and painting something else on it later in life <laughs> um but yeah that's literally all i have the energy for it's all the disappointment i have in my body to do today i literally thought it was better than this um ah, i can take my take down my ponytail now okay um <laughs> ah that's basically it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That's what it's there for. Um, anyway, if you enjoy this, um, it is one million dollars if you want to buy it. That is all I have for this installment of Painting with Liv. So if you enjoyed, subscribe. Let me know what you think of my Bob Ross painting down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.